Hello and welcome to yet another lecture on power generation and economics. Myself, Kotitola, Assistant Professor of Dr. Shudit Chandra Shud Degree Engineering College, Electrical Engineering Department. So, till now we have learned about what is tariff, why tariff is required, and what are the characteristics of the tariff and the different types of tariff. Means the simple tariff or the uniform rate tariff, the flat rate tariff, the block rate tariff, two part tariff maximum demand tariff, power tariff, power factor tariff and their classifications like KVA maximum demand tariff, sliding rate scale tariff and kilowatt and KVA tariff and also the three part tariff along with the different types of calculations for how energy is consumed by a consumer and how he or she will be charged according to the particular tariff. And we also see the advantages and the disadvantages of those tariffs. Also, we have obtained that how a tariff is calculations, calculated by the help of numerical problems. So, what are the different characteristics of a tariff? If I go through this, like if I take one or two seconds to remind that what are the different types of characteristics of a tariff, we will see that the tariff that Tariff characteristics can be classified as the proper return, the fairness of the tariff, simplicity, the reasonable profit, this profit is not more than 8% or so per annum, and the attractiveness of the tariff. So today, we will also know what is the ABT or availability based tariff. So, ABT or availability based tariff. So, ABT or availability based tariff is a frequency based pricing mechanism applicable in India for unscheduled electric power transaction. Means, we all know that we a power station, depending upon the cons consumer design uh, demand they are designing or they have scheduled a power means this much power have to be supplied for this day for that particular locality say some of the abnormal cases or some of the more amount of demand is of the power is coming due to certain criteria so this is called the unscheduled power so in order to meet that unscheduled power the conception of abt or availability based tariff is offered the ABT falls under electricity market mechanism to change and regulate power to achieve short-term and long-term network stability as well as incentives and disincentives to greet participants against deviation in committed supplies as the case may be, capacity charges, energy charges, unscheduled interchange capacity charges energy charges and unscheduled interchange so it is found that the abt there is a change and regulate power to achieve short term and the long term network stability that why the conception of the abt or availability based tariff is offered so the deviation in committed supplies as maybe the capacity why that there is a deviation in the committed supply as because the capacity charges charges the energy charges and unscheduled interchange or ui so what is the history behind the abt why abt is generated abt mechanism in electricity sector in india is adopted since the year 2000 and in a few other countries for Pricing bulk power across various stakeholders. ABT concerns itself with the tariff structure for bulk power and is aimed at bringing about more responsibility and accountability in power generation and consumption through a scheme of incentive and disincentive. It is also that 
the conception of the ABT has arrived on the year 2000 and a few other countries for pricing the bulk power across the various stakeholders. The conception of the ABT, ABT has arrived. ABT concerns itself with the tariff structure for bulk power and is aimed at bringing about more responsibility and accountability in power generation and consumption power generation and also the consumption through the accountability in power generate through a scheme of incentive and the disincentive so that the incentive and the disincentive is also be they are in the abt design in order to account the power generation and consumption abt was initially made applicable to only central generating station having more than one ACB state or union territory as its beneficiary. Means the ABT was first initially made applicable to only the central generating station having more than one ACB or state or union territory as its beneficiary. Though this scheme, the Central Electricity Regularity Commission, that CERC, that is the Central Electricity Regular Central Electricity Regular Body Commission means Central Electricity Regulatory Commission that is the CERC looks forward to improve the quality and power and the crucial uh, means it has become the crucial to measure the disruptive trends in the power system. So CERC, the Central Electricity Regulatory Commission, is also there to look forward to improve the quality of the power and the partial and the following disruptive trends in the power sector. That is why the first concept of the ABT will have arrived. So, but there is a rapid and the high frequency deviation from 50 hertz will be seen in an unacceptably manner so that will damage and disruption to large scale industry industrial consumer that's because due to the change in the rapid and high frequency degradation it will cause a damage and the disruption to the large scale industrial consumers so frequent grid disturbance resulting in generators tripping power outage and power grid so, different grid disturbance that is result in the generator stripping and also the power outage and also the power grid disintegration will be offered. So, in order to overcome those situations, the conception of the ABT has arrived. So, we are now dealing with the ABT details. So what is availability? So availability for the purpose of ABT order means that the readiness of the generating station to deliver X bus output express as a percentage of its X bus related capacity that is rated capacity that is called MCR. Electricity is a commodity whose cost of storing is more than the production cost. This is generally known to us that the electricity is a commodity. There's a cost of production is less compared to the storing compared to the cost that is given for the storing purpose the most economic method for electricity generation transmission and distribution is just in time production but the availability and reliability of the entire system shall, shall be very high to meet the unpredictable electricity demand on minute to minute basis so Availability, what it is given that the availability for the purpose, generally our most concern is to, that the cost of production of the electricity is less for the cost of storing of that particular electricity. So the concept of the availability is occurred 
in order to notify or in order to signify to and say those power requirement. So availability for the purpose of the MET order means what is the purpose of MET order? It means the readiness of the generating station to deliver X bus output express as a percentage of its X bus rated capacity. MCR means it is a percentage with the alternate tunnel connected to the buses, the bus systems. So what is the rating of that bus and what is the percentage of the limiting capacity of the alternator will be taken in the conception of percentage and that is the basic conception in order to calculate the ABT. So how this availability is calculated? This is the more important question that will be arrived at how our ABT is calculated. In order to calculate the ABT, availability of thermal generating stations for any PO shall be the percentage ratio of the average sent out capability, that is SOC, for all the time blocks during the period and the rated MCR or SOC of the generating station. That is, it is the calculate as a ratio of sent out capacity for all the time blocks during the period and the rated MCR or SOC of the generating station rated capacity. The SAIDI, that is the system average interaction duration index is commonly used as a reliability indicator by the electric power utilities. So what is SAIDI, that is the system average interaction duration index which is generally used as a reliability indicator by electric power utilities. So that is why the ABT or the availability is calculated, means the availability is calculated. Availability of the thermal generating station for any prior shall be the percentage ratio of the average sent out capability, that is the SOC for all the time blocks during that period and the rated MCR or SOC of the generating station. This is the way that ABT is calculated. So what is the availability and how our availability is calculated that is known to us. Again, ABT is there in the system in order to measure the unscheduled power demand by the system. So first is the capacity charge. So capacity charge will be related to the availability of the generating station and the percentage capacity allocated to the state it means the capacity charge will be related to the availability of the generating station, how much available in this generating station and the percentage capacity allocated to the state. Percentage of capacity which is allocated to the state. Availability for the purpose means the readiness of the generating station to deliver Xbox output express as a percentage of its rated Xbox output capability. Means how much a system or a power system is ready in order to deliver to its Xbox system when an unexpected demand is there, there is a defined as a percentage of that particular power station's readiness in order to deliver its X bus output express as a percentage of its rated X bus output capability. So it is how much. Uh, Generating station is ready in order to deliver the its X bus system when an unexpected demand is occurred. So, second one is the energy charge. The energy charges shall be worked out on the basis of a paisa per kilowatt rate on X bus energy schedule to be sent out from the generating station as per the following formula. The energy charge is equal to rate of energy charges that is paisa per kilowatt hour into multiplying by schedule generation that is the x bus megawatt hour means the schedule generation is there and what is the rate of the charges both are multiplied to find the total amount of energy charges are required because energy charges shall be worked out on the basis of the paisa per kilowatt rate on the x bus energy schedule to be sent out from the generating station as per the following formula this is the formula of it where our energy is charged is the rate of energy charges that is by sa per kilowatt hour, kilowatt hour 
multiplying with schedule generation that is x class what hour now and schedule interchange that is generally termed as ui variation in actual generation drawal with respect to the schedule generation or drawal shall be accounted for through unscheduled interchange there is a variation in the actual generation and also the there is a drawal with the respect to the schedule generation or drawal shall be accounted for the through the unscheduled interchange ui for generating station shall be equal to its total actual generation minus its schedule generation that is the what is the ui ui is the Generating station shall be equal to the total actual generation minus the schedule generation. Means that amount of generation will be there in order to count the any change in the power or the schedule power required. UI for beneficiary shall be equal to its total actual drawal minus its total schedule drawal. The beneficiary for the UI. So UI can be termed as the total actual generation minus its schedule generation in order to account the unexpected power demand is known as the ui so there is an ui rate and a graph is there so that is the rate of unscheduled drawal or injection it is the above 50.5 the rate per unit is zero 50.0 is the 150 49.8 is 210 and 49.0 and below is it's a 570 and all those graphs are seen in this particular this is the frequency this is the ui rate and how the graph is there in order to account the excess power demand so Now, what is the availability based study? The availability based study has three parts that we have done that is the capacity charge, that is energy charge, second one, and the third one is adjustment for deviation, that is UI charge. So, the first one is the capacity charge, three parts, second one is the energy charge, and the third one is the adjustment for deviation, that is UI charge. So A, a function of the X bus megawatt availability of power plant for the day declared before the day start into ACB's percentage allocation from the plant. Before the start of the day, the availability of the X bar of the power plant should be declared before the day starts, which is multiplying by ACB's percentage of the allocation from the plant. This is called the charge capacity. So what is the B means the energy charge, it is the megawatt hour of the day as per X bar draw schedule for the ACBs finalized before the day starts into energy charge rate. So we have already seen how our energy is charged. So what is the C? That is the adjustment for deviation UI charge is the summation of actual energy interchange in a 15 minute time block minus schedule energy interchange for a time block into UI rate for the time block. This is the actual energy interchange in a 15 minute time block minus the schedule energy interchange for the time block multiplying by UI rate is the summation for the time block. So total payment of the day is A plus B plus minus C. A plus B plus plus minus C. It is the capacity charge plus energy charge plus minus adjustment for deviation that is the UI charge. This is how our ABT is calculated. Now, what are the features of the ABT? A and B do not depend on the actual plan generation or the drawal. No metering required for this as they are based on offline figures. All deviations taken care of by C. So, the cap so this capacity charge and energy charge does not depend on the UI charge is there or does not depend on actual plan generation. No complication is there regarding the deemed generation. And the third one is perpetual incentive for maximizing generation and reducing drawal during deficit, but no initiative to over generate during surplus. 
no incentive to over generate during the surplus to the features of the EBT. The main three features that the still the, the perpetual that is the A and B do not depend on the actual plan generation of the drawn, no metering required for this as they are based on offline figures or deviations taken care of by C. No complication regarding deemed generation, perpetual incentive for maximizing generation and reducing drawal during the phases, but no incentive to over generate during surplus. This is the general features of ABT. Now we will do a mathematical problem with this one it is given that a supply is offered on the basis of fixed charges of rates 30 per annum plus 3 paise per unit or alternatively at the rate of 6 paise per unit for the first 400 units per annum and 5 paise per unit for all the additional units. Find the number of units taken per annum for which the cost under the two tariffs became same. Okay. So let's start the problem. It is first given that let x is the total number of units. Let x is the total number of units taken per annum for which the annual charges due to the both tariffs become equal. So, what is the first tariff? It is given that the race is 300 per annum plus 3 paisa per the unit. Okay, so first one is the 300 per annum. So, it is given that. 300 per annum, the total rupees raised to 30. It is given that it will be uh, 30 per annum plus 3 paisa per unit. Yes, the x unit 0.3 into x. And for the second unit, it is given that. This totally retain that the rate of 6 paise per unit for the first 400 units per annum and 5 paise per unit for all the additional units. So, it is the 3 paise per unit, so it is 0, 0,3 into it. So, the second one is given that. At the rate of 6 paisa per unit for the first for 400 units and the 5 paisa per unit for all the additional units. The total unit is x, the rest is x minus 400 and it is charged at 0 0.05 paisa. And the first 400 unit is charged at 0 0.06 paisa. So, total cost is given that point. 0 0.6 paise for 400 unit and the rest amount of unit is x minus 400 and it is charged at and it is seen there the both of the charges are equal so calculating it we just get at t plus point zero Four plus and zero five x. So we have to find the values of the x. X equal to 
thirty minus four that is thirty minus four by point zero five minus point zero three. So the value of the x is our answer is one three zero 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 one oh. so this is our answer just given to find the number of units taken per annum for which the cost under the two tariffs became same so number of units is the one three zero zero what hour So what have we have learned today that we have discussed about the ABT, the availability based tariffs, and how our ABT is calculated, and what are the features of the ABT, and along with the numerical problem that is related with the calculation of tariff. Thank you.